This is uh, your Stats Sensei, and we're going over 2008 uh, Form B. This will be question one. A certain state's education commissioner released a new report card for all the public schools in that state. This report card provides a new tool for comparing. And by the way, they had all public schools in the state. The report card provides a new uh, tool for comparing schools across the state. One of the key measures that can be computed from the report card is the student to teacher ratio, which is the number of students enrolled in a given school divided by the number of teachers at that school. The data below give the student to teacher rate ratio at the 10 schools with the highest proportion of students meeting the state standard, uh, state reading standards in the third grade and at the 10 schools um, with the lowest proportion of students meeting the state reading standards in the third grade. Display a dot plot. So here we go. We have the highest proportion here, and then we have the lowest proportion here. Um, display a dot plot for each group to compare the distribution of student to teacher ratio in the top 10 schools with the distribution in the bottom 10 schools. Comment on the similarities and differences. All right. So this um, question one actually had two parts and part A was worth a total of three points. So first off, we need to display a dot plot of the data. Well, what we have here is a list of the student teacher ratio. So, and these are the highest performing schools and this is the lowest performing schools. So we need to have a dot plot and the dot plot could be just simple as this, having a scale labeled student to teacher ratio and then um, for the 10, we'd have one dot. For the 12, we'd have two, et cetera, et cetera. And this would be my lowest proportion of students meeting standards. And then my highest proportion of student meeting standards and that's the teacher ratio is listed above. Okay, to get the full point for this, and by the way, they were brutal in their grading. You know, had two, two things. You could either get essentially correct or incorrect. Well, one, you had to have a dot plot. And if you had the data dis displayed something like this, it didn't matter which one you had on top. And then you had to have all the labels. If you didn't have a dot plot, if you had a histogram that was counted incorrect. And if you didn't have the labels, you, it was counted as incorrect. So must have the labels and must have a dot plot drawn to get that point. Then it also says comment on the similarities and differences. The distribution have when I look at this, I go, oh, you know what? The centers are about the same. So the distributions have centers that are approximately equal. Uh, you could have calculated the mean and median and quoted that, but really we just needed to say the centers are approximately equal. And either that was full credit, you said that something along these lines, or you didn't. Again, it was essentially correct or it was considered incorrect. But all you needed to do was address um, the similarities. Please remember they said, and differences. Well, differences could get you another point. The spreads of the distribution are different because we notice that when we look at our data, this is substantially more spread out than the one, um, the highest proportion was substantially more spread out than the lowest proportion. The spreads of the distributions are different with the schools having the highest proportion of meeting standards having a greater spread than the 10 lowest, uh, in the 10 lowest schools. Okay, so that was part A, and part, like I said, part A could get you three, uh, three total points. Part B, any statistical test that is used to determine whether the mean student to teacher ratio is the same for the top 10 schools as it is for the bottom 10 schools would be inappropriate. Explain why in a few sentences. But we should probably go back up and look at the top. Up here it says the data below gives the student to teacher ratio at the 10 schools with the highest proportion of students meeting state standards and in third grade and the 10 schools with the lowest proportion. Well, the data first off are not select, were not selected from random samples. And because the data selected is the entire population of values a census was conducted and no statistical test for inference is appropriate. All right, so basically we have the top 10 schools in the state and the lower 10 schools in the state. And we 
surveyed all of them. This was not a random sample. It's not a part of a larger population. So we actually know the population parameter. Here it is. And so since we know that, we do not need to um, um, run a statistical test for inferences. In this one, you could get essentially correct or partially correct. If you said it was not from a random sample and that's all you said, it was a part a partial. You needed to say that um, it represented the entire population or it was a, we actually sent, we actually took a survey of the entire population or, or tell us that it was a census. And because of that, it was not appropriate. So that's how you got full point on that. And um, so that those those would be the four possible points, three from part A, and then a one from part B would give you four points. All right, hope that helped. Thanks for watching.